all about composting. By the end of these sections, you will know how composting reduces waste, how to make your own compost heap, what you can and can't compost, how to fix your composting problems, how to use compost, how to make your own worm farm, how to make a no dig garden. What is composting? Composting is nature's own recycling system. It breaks plant matter down into original nutrient form and then returns that valuable nourishment to the soil. By composting, we give back some of the nutrients we have taken from our soil. Putting homegrown compost into gardens also greatly reduces our dependence on chemicals such as artificial fertilizers and pesticides. Everything you put into a compost heap is broken down by bacteria and other creatures such as worms and slaters. Air and water also play a crucial role in the life of a compost heap just as they are crucial to human life. Why compost? The best way to reduce food plus garden waste is to compost it. On average, about half of our household rubbish is food scraps, garden waste and other organic matter that can be composted. Compo compost returns nutrients to the soil and improves the plant growth by bringing life back to the soil, helping to break up heavy clay soils, Improving the soil's capacity to hold water, adding essential minerals to the soil. Compost cookery, a beginner's recipe for compost. Step 1. Choose a well-drained sunny position. Step 2. First put a layer of coarse material such as broken up sticks, twigs, pruning, dry leaves and torn newspaper at the bottom of the heap. Step 3. This layer should be about the thickness of the width of one of your hands, around 8 to 12 centimeters. This step will Im is important because it allows air to flow through the heap. Then add a thin layer around 1 to 2 centimeters of rich soil or finished compost from a previous heap. Add enough water to make everything moist. You are ready to start adding your food scraps to the heap. Each time you add kitchen scraps to the heap, also adds a different thin layer around 1-2 to cm of one or more of the following. Grass clippings, soil or compost from previous heap, coarse material example, tree pruning, sticks, twigs and leaves, shredded newspaper, wood ash, dolomite or lime, Fresh herbs. When you have finished layering, cover the heap with hessian bags, underfelt or a layer of mulch. Step 4. Turn the heap often. To get good quality compost qu quickly, you need to turn the heap every few weeks with a fork or shovel. If your heap is wet and smelly, turning it will help it dry, will help it dry out. If it's too dry, turn it and then water it. Good composting with Adam. Adam will help you remember the key of making good compost. Adam stands for A, aliveness. Compost is a living system. D, diversity. Lots of different ingredients are the key to good composting. A, aeration. For fast-working, sweet-smelling compost, it is essential to get air, oxygen, into the heap. M. Moisture. For the living compost heap to work well, it needs to be a little wet. Your compost heap should let air in through the top, bottom and sides if possible. Aliveness. A compost heap needs living organisms to break down the waste and release the minerals and nutrients to make rich soil-like compost. Each living organism is in the compost has a different but important role to play in creating the right conditions for good compost. Some of these living organisms, 
such as bacteria, are too small for you to see, but they are still very important. Diversity. A compost heap needs different ingredients, just as you need different types of food to keep you healthy. Layering different ingredients makes sure, make sure that the compost you get from your heap has the right minerals and nutrients. Aeration. A compost heap needs air or it will start to smell. Remember, more air means less smell. Turning your compost heap lets, it, lets in more air. But don't turn more than once a week as you will let too much air in the heap and it will get too cool. Compost he heaps need to be hot to make the ingredient break down faster. Remember, you also want to let some air into the top of the heap, so don't cover it with, a pla with plastic sheets. Use hessian. Moisture. All plants and animals need water and air to live, and so does compost heap. As a guide, compost should be about as wet as a lightly wrung, wrung out sponge. It should be moist, but not dripping with water. Too wet. If the heap is too wet, it, it should be turned. If it's very wet, pull the heap apart and remake it with some extra tree pruning, twigs, sticks and leaves. Too dry. If the heap is too dry, try watering it from above with a trickling hose. Always water any dead leaves, sawdust, hay, straw and weed <laughs> before, before you put anything else on top of them. What to compost? Anything that was once part of a plant or animal can be used in home compost. Diversity is key to great compost. Weeds. More, most weeds can be composted, but they should be added before they have, uh, they have seeds. Manure. Small amount of poultry or pigeon manure can, are great. Cow, sheep and goat manure aren't quite as good. Kitchen and household waste. Almost all kitchen waste, except meat and fish, even all cotton rags, can be composted. Keep a 4 liter ice cream container and its lid in the kitchen for collecting your scraps. Garden waste. Gar grass clipping clippings can be added regularly in thin layers. Mix the grass with twigs and leaves to let air keep flowing through the heap. Other useful ingredients. Hair, coffee grounds and tea leaves, seaweeds, cut flowers and herbs, old, po old potting mix, vacuum cleaner dust, torn up pizza box. Soil. Add small amounts of rich soil or finished compost to your heap. Wood, wood ash, charcoal, dolomite and lime. These help balance the acids in the compost. You can buy lime and dolomite from nurseries and hardware stores. Collect wood ash or charcoal from fireplace and barbecues. Tree prunings, sticks, twigs and leaves. Include layers of this core stuff as it helps to keep air flowing through the heap. Do not compost these. Dog, cat or human feces, manure, they can cause disease. Meat and fish scraps should not be composted. Only small amounts of dairy products and fat should be composted. Chemicals. Most household and garden chemicals will kill or slow down the living organisms in the compost and soil. Compost creatures. Compost is a living system. There are millions upon millions of tiny animals that live, feed and breed in your compost. They also help break down your food and garden waste and turn them into rich soil or fertilizer. Some compost creatures are slaters, ground beetles, bacteria, fungi, earthworms, Streptomycetes Composting systems 
There are different types of compost system. You can buy ready-made systems such as compost bins, or you can make your own. Choose a compost system that suits your budget and lifestyle. Make your own compost system. Cover heaps on the ground. This is one of the easiest way to make compost. It costs nothing and you can start now. Cover the heap with hessian bags, garden mulch or newspapers. Holding bays and multi-bay units. Holding bays are sim simple containers used to store yard and garden waste like grass clipping, leaves and prunings until these materials break down. Choose the type of holding bay that best suits you. Temporary holding bays. These are made from light materials so that they can be taken apart and moved around the garden. They can be made from chicken wire, old wooden pallets, or wire framed with wood. Permanent holding bays. These can be made with better blocks or by mortaring bricks or rocks together. Multi bays. It's best to have at least two bays, one for fresh waste, the other one for storing maturing compost until it's ready to use. Free bean bays are even more efficient because you are turning the compost frequently. The compost is shoveled into the first bay, into the second bay, after two weeks. Then a few, then a few weeks later from the second bay into the third bay. The compost is ready to be used when it is turned out of the third bin. Burying waste. Food waste can be composted by burying it into the soil. Just dig a hole, throw some chopped food waste into it and then cover it with at least 20 cm of soil. This is a slow process but is, it is very simple. Bins you can buy. There are many types of and sizes of bins for sales from most local councils, large stores, hardware shops, garden centers, and nurseries. Barrels and tumblers. Barrel composters uses a tumbling action to aerate the compost, just like a clothes dryer. Compost is made in batches. Waste is stored until there is enough to fill the barrel. If the barrel is turned every second day, the compost can be ready to use in 2-3 weeks. Barrels and tumblers are very useful to start composting large amount of leaves, grass and weeds. Later, these can be added to regular compost heaps. Some common questions. How long will it be until my compost is ready to use? So the answer is, let your compost settle for the first two weeks. After this, turn your compost heap weekly and it will take 8 to 10 weeks to produce good compost. If you don't turn your compost heap regularly, then it will take longer to produce good compost. What do I do if I have no worms in my heap? but lots of ants. The answer is, add lime to the heap and turn it. If your heap seems to be drying out, water it. My compost seems very wet. How wet should it be? The answer is, the compost should be as wet as a damp sponge. It needs to be moist but not dripping wet. My composting method is to throw everything on the heap and then ignore it. Is it okay? The answer is yes. It's called coal composting and it's a slow way to compost. Watch the compost. Watch that the compost doesn't become smelly because of lack of air. It may need to be turned now and then. Can bone and meat scraps be composted? The answer is no. It is best not to compose bones and meat because they can attract flies, rats and mice. 
My neighbor complains about my heap, but it doesn't even smell. What should I do? Well, set a good example by keeping your compost system neat and smell free. Explain the benefits of composting to your neighbor and offer him or her some compost for the garden. Should my compost be in the sun or in the shade? The heat of the sun will speed the process, but remember, it will also dry it out. So keep it moist. If sunny space is limited in your garden, find the next warmest position. How will I know when to turn the heap? Turning every 7 to 14 days will speed up the process. If you're not in a hurry, once a month will probably do. Can fruit waste be composted? How? Yes, all fruit can be composted, but only oranges, lemons, mandarins and grapefruit. It is best to chop the rinds finely so they, can, so they decay easily. Then add a little wood ash, charcoal and dolomite or lime to reduce their acidity. What if there are worms in my compost? That's great! Worms help to break down the waste and let air through the compost heap. How do you know when the compost is ready to use? When it has become dark, loose and crumbly, smells like fresh earth and you can't see any lumps of food or other waste. How do I get my compost out when ready? Dig out the finished compost from the bottom of the heap. How to fix some common composting problems? My compost is smelly. Your compost will smell if it gets too wet or not enough air. It may also get smelly if you put too much food waste and not enough dry ingredient. Fix it by forking in dry leaves, garden mulch or soil, adding two to three handful of garden lime, dolomite or wood fire ash, turning the compost to get more air in, mixing food or grass clipping with sawdust or shredded newspaper before adding the heap. My heap has some unwelcome visitors. Ants, cockroach, mice or rats can make your compost their home. Fix it by covering food with a layer of newspaper, mulch or soil. Adding lime and turning the heap will discourage ants and cockroaches. Shoveling the heap to one side, then placing fine wire mesh under the compost bin or heap will, ke will keep out mice and rats. Don't put dairy products, meat, bones and seafood in the compost. Now my compost heap has flies. Don't worry if you have a few compost flies. However, if your heap becomes smelly, it may have too many flies. Fix it by following the steps above for smelly compost. I think I'm going to decay before my compost does. How can I speed it up? If your composting system can't keep up with the demand, there are ways to make great compost quicker. A, small, a slow composting system can mean that the compost is not too hot enough or there may be not enough air or water. Fix it by adding manual or finished compost, turning the heap and adding water, covering the compost with insulating materials like newspapers or mulch in winter if it gets too cold. Adding a compost activator, you can buy this from your nursery or hardware store. How to use your compost? The best time to, get, to dig compost into a garden bed is when you are preparing it for planting seeds or seedlings. Compost can be used for a starting mix for vegetable and flower seeds. Mix one third sand with two third compost. The seedling mix should have a fine texture. The thin layer of compost can be spread out on your lawn. Once or twice a year to encourage healthy growth. If you want to use compost in a potting mix or as a seedling mix, it is best to use a coarse screen or sieve to separate out the larger particles 
you can make out you can make one out of chicken wire. For indoor plants, you may want to mix sand with your compost. This will help drain the compost mix. Potted plants grow well with compost in the mix. Finished compost can be used as well as mulch to fertilize plants. To mulch with compost, add 5 to 7 cm of compost to the soil around the drip line, the circle made by rain falling off the outermost branches of plants. Compost can be used as a bedding material for worm, for worm form. See page 35. Compost can also be used as the base of a nudie garden.